Hello and welcome to the lottery. Sony's never hurt me before. I like Sony. Well, we'll see what lot we draw today. And that lot will be... Nautical themed. I like the ocean too. And it's time hey, to I'm here with my friend Enemy, and he's got a game. I've got a game for you, and we're going to take our time with this intro. We're gonna we're just gonna slip into this lottery like a warm bath. Life ah. and death have no border? <laughs> it's just the ocean. Well The Earth became hot and I <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is some sort of, like, foreign echo that didn't see release here. It did see release here, but not... Not... It didn't... It never got... The, the lottery is all about games that never got their due here. Aqu and, Aquanauts, um, like, like the Lego property? Well, like a, like a person who goes in the water, like an Aquanaut. Aquanauts Holiday, hidden memory for PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 exclusive... One of those weird Japanese Sony properties that never quite caught on. I, I feel like this is the sequel to Chrono Cross. It certainly has that vibe. So are we are we going to be underwater the whole time? Like, how much do you know what we're in for? I know what we're in for. You know nothing about what we're in for. But I do know that each polyp of coral in a reef lives independently and can survive even if neighboring polyps die. But if the whole coral reef may react again, that's... <laughs> the point is, there's like... So are we caring for like a submarine garden? There's kind of like an interdependency among coral reef polyps. And if something happens that shocks the whole system, then it can fuck everything up. Why am I learning about coral? Uh, well... That's just what we're in for today. <laughs> so this is going to be an educational experience. Um, it's partially. <laughs> <laughs> A period where no humans existed. I wonder what significance humans had. None. They weren't no. relevant. No. <laughs> they didn't exist. Zero. We would never do anything with that would affect coral reefs, so that would be <laughs> awful. <laughs> 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 So, I don't know what you thought you were expecting, <laughs> but is I it wasn't safe to say you weren't expecting I, this? I wasn't expecting a day at Aqua Heaven. <laughs> From the diary of William Glover. <laughs> <laughs> um, th that sounds like a real person. A lot of this sounds awfully real. Well, the, the, the thing about William Glover is that young oceanographer missing... <laughs> Pacific wise. Okay. But hidden mystery. <laughs> the article, the article will be like this. this. <laughs> the translation on this game is is fun. <laughs> if the article were to begin, <laughs> the proceeding was how it will begin. The best uh, location for a holiday! Yeah, forget about missing oceanographers and all of that garbage. Let's have a fun time in the sea. Let's have an Aquanauts holiday! Weo. The Wise Institute of Oceanography. Eternal rival of the dumb Institute of Ocean Stuff. I wanna get a scoop! We gotta get a scoop! Are we reporters? Is this about reporting on the ocean? Sort of, yeah. Who the fuck is that? How do you like our Kasira base? <laughs> well, it really was a shame. Okay, what do we have 30,000 of? We have 30,000 credits in our Aqua Heaven Fund. Okay. Sorry, just trying to keep up. <laughs> what do we have on the left there? We've got Aqua Library Dolphin. System. Dolphin. System. And then we have the WIO Messenger, underneath of which there is two icons, one of which is currently grayed out, and the other one is this old, chubby somebody. Why, why is Mr. This? Kemmelman. 
This looks so much like a Steam game, like one of those, or like a, like a, an iOS store game. It does have that kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? And now he starts talking rapidly about tube worms and other um, organisms, and I, you're not meant to be able to read it. I must admit that while I can make out the text at this size, I am not paying attention to it. Well, you don't really need to be paying attention. The kind of the point Whoa, is that you're that? no, who's that? Oh yeah, we'll we'll be talking <laughs> to her. All right, here we go. The freedom to talk to a different person. <laughs> to talk to <laughs> one of two people. What topic should we discuss today? I will select the topic hello. <laughs> Jessica. Aqua Heaven is what this place is called. <laughs> Everybody here calls it that. <laughs> so we are um we are a reporter. And we are here to get a scoop on the missing oceanographer, which is a big story for some reason. Well, do you know how important oceanographers are? What a well-respected like profession that is globally. They're right. Big, and whenever like, anything happens to an oceanographer, front page news. So, um... Uh, this place is a laboratory... I'm just waiting for some sort of weird open world game or like a, a like a race mini game or something. Well, does, does, does this have mini golf hidden in it somewhere? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of to this point. Wouldn't surprise me though. Actually, well, I'll, I'll let you see it. The music I like. It's tropical and fun. Jessica has given us the lay of the land a little bit. Now, I've noticed something about PlayStation Tropical Environments, that they often seem kind of drab and washed out, and I'm looking at the background, and it doesn't have that sunshiny, vivid, like, bite to it. I've always heard something about the way that the PlayStation 3, um, does its colors. Like, the cut. Co yeah. There's yeah. something about PlayStation 3 colors that desaturates things or something. And now Mr. Camelman is going on about Plankton... Gene resources. This is like in his character. Like? From a couple of poses, he gives me a strong Gabe Newell feeling. Yeah. You think Gabe Newell, you know, at Valve headquarters just starts talking about plankton really rapidly and you can't shut him up? I'd like to think that if they hadn't gone into games, they would have gone into oceanography. That would have been the way to go. Boastful... Poor Dolphin 2. His partner, Dolphin 1, is still missing. Missing with Bill. Well. Oh my god. Okay, so... Alright, let us on the fucking dolphin. Yeah, what is this? I hope this is 3D and even more confusing. Well... You're not wrong. Like, Alright. I like being wrong. There's so many times I want to be wrong. I have a tendency to enjoy being wrong, especially in cases such as this. Still on par with the music, at least. Music is very pleasant in this game. Alright, so we're getting in the meat and potatoes of this. It's gonna take another couple of I'm, minutes now. Yeah, we gotta slowly find our way inside like this is the world's most relaxing golden eye level. <laughs> <sighs> this is supposed to be a nice relaxing game. It is relaxing. In, uh, uh, maybe not in the most entertaining way, but... Perhaps not, but I think it's worth a look in any case. Oh, I'm looking. Okay, we gotta get out of the net. The dock. So, the dolphin is this dolphin-shaped submarine Didn't that we're inside like now. It's not, I, I'm not trying to be argumentative. It, it's not shaped like a dolphin. The dolphin-colored submarine. <laughs> and it talks. It has its own voice. Okay. It's an, it's an AI. It right. can answer complex questions. It's just a little surprised, yeah, just a touch. It's an anima, so it's like 
artificial life is the implication? I don't know why the submarine is alive. I don't know why it has to be alive. Does it, I don't know what function that serves for the purpose of... Does it understand freedom? Uh, presumably not. I hope not. Jesus. What are they doing here? <laughs> but what we need of, it for what oceanography. Sort of, what kind of heaven is this? <laughs> it's the Christian heaven. <laughs> All AIs go to heaven. <laughs> So, the weird thing is that, like, um, the left stick aims you in what direction you want to go, and then the right stick is like a throttle. Oh, so uh, you... yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with this. This is, um, you can set this control type for a lot of racing games. Yeah, that's what it's like. So, um, it takes a little getting used to, but you do get used to it. And then, um... So are the... What about the up and down? Is that reversed, the, the y-axis? I think so. Can you set it to normal? I think so. Um, whatever it is, I just went with it. It didn't okay. feel weird to me, so maybe it is normal. Well, Bill, tell me about William Glover. Oh... And he's not allowed? <laughs> the best part about this is that you managed to control it a tiny bit and then it stopped you again. Yeah. Even the fish don't keep going by for that conversation. Just time freezes while the dolphin makes a direct neural link with your brain. <laughs> this is getting into Soma territory. <laughs> What's this needle going into the back of my head? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the submarine now. So, um, you can lock on to fish. To scan them? To scan them. Like and in, then like you push in the... Metroid Prime? Yeah, and then you and push you... the X button. And you've got to fill a bestiary of sea life? That's correct. This is a <laughs> Moorish idol, and every, uh, every fish that you scan, you get some credits. Um, because you're like... who? No, stop. Where, where <laughs> are the credits coming from? And why are you in charge of paying for the upkeep of the same facility that's giving you the credits? <laughs> what sort of fucking Kowloon walled city like forced labor nonsense is this? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, you have to fucking pay. Alright. <laughs> you really so you scan fish and you get money for scanning fish. <laughs> And, yeah. the, and then you fill out the Aqua Library, which has, uh, like, a list of all the fucking fish that you can scan. And then in order to, like, um, to extend the range with which you can travel, apparently this, this atoll is magnetic in a way that uh, doesn't allow for normal navigation, navigation methods. Yeah. So they have these sonar buoys hanging the son around. Sono buoy. Sono buoys. So these sono buoys. It's just the same number of syllables as sonar buoy. <laughs> yeah. They uh, extend the range that you can travel at, and you have to buy batteries for them to power them back up. Really? And do you have to go around visiting, changing their batteries? Well, the, once you change them once, they they stay on. Oh, wait, so you're just. Taking care of the maintenance from whatever the happened to Bill is like the same event that turned off all these sauna buoys. So, yeah, when you like get access to new areas, then there's new fish there that you can scan, and then you get more credits, and then you can extend your range even further out. I wonder why this didn't take off. <laughs> I, I personally like. I kind of like this idea, but I can't see any giant appeal for this. I, I'm sure this did well in Japan. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a niche title, even in Japan, I think. Uh, what I was well, doing I mean, my it research, can't, but... It can't have done worse than Seaman. Yeah. Seaman had Leonard Nimoy in it, though. I wonder what... I wonder if he has any cultural relevance in Japan. I assume it was some other culturally relevant Japanese person in the Japanese release. Oh, you know what? That makes a lot more sense than my idea. 
Yeah. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna float around a bit and um, scan some fish. I, yep. I, I caught that. I caught that. That's what was happening. Yep. And then we're gonna we're gonna head to the first sauna buoy, and then uh, and then I'll let you go. But um, what you're gonna notice is that there's a weird adventure game part of this, <laughs> like like, the, like rogue or something. No, like the mystery of what happened to you know Bill. But you're not the like oceanographer the, is like, like are you are you like slotting gears into brass mechanisms <laughs> to rotate an observatory so you can get a better look down the island or something? Almost. Oh, good. That you. Um, there's puzzle solving anyway. Uh, we're not going to see much of that. We're not going to see any of that here. What we're going to do is we're going to change the battery to sonar buoy, and you can see. It's, um, yeah, so it's opening up. Yeah, it it um, extends the range on your mini map there, and so any any parts of the mini map uh, where you can see detail, th those are the areas you can travel to. And what happens if you just like leave the map? Um, it's like alarms start going off, and you um, you start losing imagery, huh. and eventually it just stops you. The dolphin turns around on its own because it has an anima. Yeah. It, okay, it... Oh, okay, for a second I thought that was the buoy saying it ran out of batteries. <laughs> like, like they put an AI in a stationary object with one function. Kill me! I but can't first, stand it. But first, please give me batteries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or it's just happy once it has the batteries. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Batteries. Oh. Oh my god, you, I, I hope you play so much at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not gonna. <laughs> I'm scared. I hope you watch me play so much at some point. <laughs> I don't even want to do that. <laughs> oh god. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so... There's these this mysterious rock formation... On the ocean floor. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something or another. <laughs> it looks like a thing. Yep. It's gotta go exploring that. We gotta go take a look. <laughs> Give it a good look, see. And it's giving off a, uh, a sonar. I guess that means it's Dolphin 1. It's not Dolphin 1. It's just singing rock. It's singing rock. And we got 5,000 credits for finding that. That's as what good as 10 new fish. Okay, that reminds me a little bit of Pokemon Snap in a good way. Um, so you get a sonar uh, function on your dolphin by, by uh, capturing sonar. the sound that's coming off of this rock? That... no. Wait... And then that's when you not... produce that sonar, you unlock one of William's logs? That's not how... S there are four uh... special sounds in Kasira Atoll, and in this sea <laughs> area there are the four sound-emitting rocks. Yeah, I'm sure. So... And, you, they, you know, they, they just brimming, full to the brim with sonar transmissions, bouncing around inside of the rocks, just waiting to be unlocked by the right sonic key. <laughs> exactly! And, um, this is one of Mr. Glover's logs, so there's hidden logs all over there the are, place. That are, like, encoded into the lattice of the <laughs> rock. <laughs> Uh, this is, is, are we fi are we finding Atlantis? It's something like that. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm a bit curious. There's four special sounds. Well, I didn't feel like I won, but I didn't feel like I lost. I hope I hope at least this lottery has piqued your interest a little bit and your amusement. Um, we're gonna save and then. Um, we're gonna oh. save and then we'll be done. But oh, sound emitting rock! Jessica, Jessica might, might know, know what's up with these sound emitting rocks. Jessica might know. So, um, when you go into the I uh, hope she knows. 
when you go to the map here, you can um, auto navigate back to Aqua Heaven. Can you walk around on the surfaces of the islands? No. Nah. So there's no like trop tropical like topside world. No. Nah. It's all submarine floating around, scan some fish, and solve some puzzles. That's this catch, game. Catch a fish, poke a rock. I got it. Emit some sonar pulses. Yeah. Aquatic emissions. Fill out the aqua library. That's it. That's, I guess that's the real beef or drive aside from finding Bill. That's true. There's the sort of adventure game plot of of finding Bill, and then there's filling out the aqua library and activating all the sono buoys. And I'm guessing there's like a kind of base management thing where you're saving up aqua cred. And trying to I like, don't know if there's anything you can buy with aqua believe... credits other than sauna buoy batteries. It, but why are they making you like pay your way to repair their facility? <laughs> I know, right? Give him the batteries. He's here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking do it. It's like, um, it's like, uh, what am I thinking of? It's like Snake not having any weapons. <laughs> or it's like... I like that you have to get like get to know the submarine. Like, he's really friendly when you get to know him. <laughs> yeah, because he's alive for some fucking reason. <laughs> he's alive, dickhead. <laughs> get to know the submarine. You spent so much time inside him. Yeah, so, uh... What percentage of a chance do you think there is of us doing a full LP in this game? 